guys, so the next book I've got is one of y'all's favorites, Pig the Pug by Erin Blaby. So, are y'all excited to see, hear the story, huh? So let's get started. Pig the Pug. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say he was greedy and selfish in most every way. He lived in a house with a wiener dog, Trevor. But when he, but was he nice to him? I'll tell you, never. You've got some great toys there, poor Trevor would say. Pig would just grumble, they're mine, go away. But it might be more fun, Trevor said to Pig, if we both played together. Well, Pig flipped his wig. No, they are mine. Didn't you hear? Only mine. Keep your paws off of them. They're mine, mine, mine. I know what your game is. You want me to share. But I'll never do that. I won't and I swear. Oh, he's not a very nice dog, is he? And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a huff and a puff. He had gathered them up in a pile. He howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig. Now you won't get my loot. It's mine, 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 mine. So why don't you scoot? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling. Oh dear me. Watch out up there, good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was. Well, pugs cannot fly. I hope he's okay. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Hmm, looks like Trevor got some got to play with some of the toys, huh? Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor's his friend. And they and they both play together. while pigs on the mend. Hmm. Well, that was a fun story, wasn't it? I know, I know that y'all love hearing that story in class and that's one of my favorite stories to tell because it's pretty funny, isn't it? Plus, it teaches us how we should never be selfish and we should always share, right? Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed that. I send y'all all my love. Remember the class rules. Love yourself, love others. Bye.